Bless the Lord. Glory to God. We give God all the glory and all the honor and the praise. We magnify the name of the Lord Jesus. We want to welcome each and every one to this call, uh, our national prayer call for Church of God by Faith nationally. And um, we just magnify the name of the Lord. We're here uh, Monday on uh, March the 16th, 2015. And we just um, are elated at being able to go before the throne of God this morning in prayer. I'm your host, for our national prayer call, uh, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, uh, Stark Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leading of our presiding bishop, James McKnight, Jr., um, Superintendent Willie McKnight, uh, our, our district elder. And so we just thank God for uh, the Church of God by Faith being assembled together this morning to go before the throne of God boldly and confidently as we cast our cares on the Lord, knowing that he cares for us. And so we're gathered here to uh, pray and lift up uh, the Church of God by Faith concerning outreach and evangelism. Um, we remember and we know that uh, one of the components of the Church of God by Faith nationally, our Vision 2020 um, goal and outline as we go forward as a national Church of God by Faith, one of the components of that is prayer and outreach. Glory to God. And so uh, we just want to share a couple of things as we go forward. Um, as we said before, all the lines are muted um, so that we can have the best possible experience as we use this digital medium in going forward in corporate prayer. Um, we are ex excited and we are elated to have uh, Elder Moses Anderson Jr. as uh, our corporate prayer leader this morning, who is going to uh, lead us as we go forward in corporate prayer. Uh, we know that all of us will lift up our voices and we will go before the throne of God boldly in prayer, uh, knowing that uh, it was in Deuteronomy chapter 32 and, and verse 30 where the Lord said that uh, how can one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? except the Lord had shut them up. When we begin to uh, uh, link up together and go before the throne and, and to come as warriors uh, before God, thousands and thousands of demonic agendas are put to flight. And so we thank God for the privilege and the liberty to uh, go before the throne of God in prayer. And so uh, after Elder Anderson uh, concludes in prayer, we will unmute all the lines for a, a few moments of corporate praise and adoration, and then we will remute the lines as we close uh, and, and bring our call to a close. Glory to God. And so um, we're just excited, excited and, and just so very thankful to have uh, Elder Moses Anderson, South Florida District, uh, taking us forward in corporate prayer. And um, just a couple of reminders, uh, things to consider as we go forward and before we prepare to uh, pass the baton to Elder Anderson, who will take us forward. Just want to remind us that scripturally and biblically, we are doing exactly what the Lord would have for us to do as a body of believers. Uh, we've said it before, we'll say it again. In Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 17, we know that the scripture declares uh, that the Lord said, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. And we know and understand that uh, we're doing exactly what the Lord has declared. We're rising up early, seeking after the Lord, coming to him in prayer, and we know that we are in the word of God. Also, uh, as we're praying this morning, uh, our focus, as we've said, is, is prayer and outreach. Uh, we know that it was Jesus praying for the disciples and for the body of believers, the church that would later be formed. Glory to God. And it was Jesus praying in John chapter 17 and verse 18. Jesus said, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. <clears throat> Glory to God. Um, Jesus prayed on his knees uh, over a thousand years ago that even as he was sent into the world, the body of believers he also had sent into the world. We must understand that if we are not going out into the world, we are, we are actually operating in, in an antichrist fashion. We are, if we're not going out into the world, we are doing contrary of what Jesus himself prayed in John 17. 
God himself in the flesh prayed that we would go out into the world. We must go out into the world. Um, I thank God for our very own presiding bishop, uh, James McKnight Jr., uh, sharing uh, out of the pages of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, glory to God, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, even on yesterday, declaring that we are ministers of reconciliation. God has committed to the body of Christ the ministry of reconciliation. And so uh, we are ambassadors for Christ. We are going out ex uh, declaring that the world can, can uh, uh, perform an exchange. We can exchange our sins for his righteousness. Glory to God. And so it's a message that the world must hear, and we are the ambassadors of that message. Glory to God. And so uh, we thank God for his agenda. We thank God for his word. And that's what we're preparing to go forward and do. And so now we want to go ahead and transition and uh, prepare to receive um, Elder Moses Anderson, Jr., who's going to take us forward in corporate prayer in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So let's go ahead and prepare to receive him even now uh, as we do that and go forward in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Father, we give you praise this morning. Welcome to Bifel family as we come together just to talk to you this morning. It is a new day that you have given us. As you wake this family up all over the world, God, this side of the world, some are waking while the other side is laying down from the great things that you have done for us. We give you praise today, God, because we know that you have plans for this organization and for your people. I thank you now, most of all, before all the things you have done for us. We graciously praise you this morning, God, because I see that you are interceding, moving things out of the way that we might go forward in power, in strength, and in love. Created God to do great things for you. It is our season and our time prepared by you. You're the only one that can do such great things. So as we enter this prayer this morning, God, we'd like to thank you, first of all, for everything you've done. We also, God, remember those that you have set above us, those that are our leaders. We call them name by name this morning, knowing that you are guiding them and directing. We have faith in what you are doing in their lives. We call our Bishop Senior McKnight, God, as we pray over him, strengthen his body as he walks this walk, continue to lead us through the leadership of Bishop McKnight, Jr., I pray that as your hands has been upon him, it has been great that we have walked this far by faith. And I believe that this group of leaders that you have set over us is still walking by that faith, God, that we have. We know that faith will answer it, God. We also remember our elder Rook, my God. I ask you to touch him and keep him strong, for their hearts and mind are set to see the church glorify you and I declare that we will glorify you God it is our destiny that we just worship you God I pray for our leading elder elder Turner God bless him all God as he do what he must do God he has been here to do some things for you and I believe with his heart and mind and soul he's striving to do everything you chose him to do and God without fail I believe he shall do it our ruling elder well God I ask you to bless him and strengthen him in the name of Jesus for the task that is in his hand is not impossible though it may be hard God I declare that courage will come even as it came unto Joshua I pray even so Lord for elder William God you have placed him in a place that he may not even understand why he's there but you know why you place them according to your will i pray for his family and not only his family god who is going through at this moment i pray for his father also not only them god but i pray for the families of our leaders for god we know that they are coming along to be what you want them to be i declare that you just bless us you reign on the heavens and the earth so, God, we're not timid by what is happening in our lives. Though it be up, it be down, and trouble come, you are still the strength of the church. You are the power that walketh in us. We give you glory today, God. 
as we prayed this morning. We want to thank you for what you're about to do, God. Every request that has been announced on the air and in the heart of your people, you said we could come to you boldly before the throne. I thank you now because of what you're doing. I thank you for all the healings that are going to take place. I bless you right now in the name of Jesus. And as we pray this morning, God, I remember every pastor who is above and over your people with a humble heart and a humble spirit, that they be examples and leaders that would encourage them, that they would speak to them as you have prophesied it and told unto us in your word that they would perfect the saints of God. And we are perfected by your power, by the unity and strength of the body. Help the body to be unified by these leaders, these gifts that you, God, has set in the body as it has pleased you. That every member will reach out to the other and strengthen as we have joined together this morning on this prayer line, God. Different ways that we reach you, but you are the same God that moves in power and authority. I declare your glory this morning. I declare the honor that is due to your name. Not only the pastors, but every member in this entire body and any other members that are not of the By Faith family may have joined us. I pray this morning, God, for the kingdom, that the kingdom would just be in mission, minded as the people of Nehemiah Day are willing to do what it takes to get the job done. Not always feeling good, but always have a praise. Not always being encouraged, but always looking unto you. Bless us this morning, God. I declare your glory among the house and this family. I pray not only for that, but make sure that we are unified, God, one with another. Do it for us in the name of Jesus. I pray now, God, for the national vision. Our leaders have given us a vision that you have given them. And the people must take it to heart, God. Help them to know that we are able to do all things to you. That we won't just sit back and complain about what life is, but we will handle it by the power that is given to us. I pray this morning, God, that you bless us, that we reach out and do so winning in every area, that every church will increase, my God, as you have prospered it, that they will grow in membership, not just membership, but discipleship, training members, how to reach out to other people, grabbing them, bringing them in, as Jude has said, snatching them from the fire. We are victorious through your word. I thank you today, God, because you are awesome. There is no God like you anywhere, the heaven above the earth, the need. You are the only true God. I pray for us, God. If you sent us, you have sent us with power, equipping us. Nothing that you send will ever come back void. And you declared it in your word, God. So this church and every church that will go by your power and your word will accomplish the task. Yes, there will be obstacles. Yes, there will be down days. Yes, there will be things that we face. But we will face them with authority and the power given into the hands of the church. For you have declared that the church is most victorious, that even the very gates of hell and all what it does shall not prevail, nor be able to pull us down from what we have been charged to do by you. I thank you today, God, because you are so loving and so kind that we have to love you. You are so good to us. Help this body of Christ as it grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The more we learn of you, the more we hear of you, the more we get in your word, the more powerful we become to know who we are. We are that church that is set on a hill, cannot be here. Let us shine everywhere we go. Let us shine so that people will know that our God still lives, saves, and delivers. Bless in the name of Jesus every event that is planned throughout this year. I pray for every church, the national church, that every event is you, God. It's all about you, that you would work in it for the souls that will be saved as we reach out and pray for our upcoming camp meeting, God, that is about to take place. I pray 
that you will bless every speaker and every attender. Be present with us, God, for church without you is not church. But if you just would come in the house, I heard somebody say their knees are feeling bad. But God, you will straighten out the knees. You will straighten out the minds. You will straighten out the lives. No sickness can remain where you are when your power reigns. Help us to unify to believe that when you move in our house, that everything that needs to be fixed and the timing to be fixed will give glory unto your name. Thank you this morning, my God, that we have risen up today to remember that in the morning joy will come. Somebody has struggled through the night, struggled through the year, but I speak in the name of Jesus that the struggle will not take them out, but it will be victorious unto their life. I pray for those that go through trials and tribulations, that they will understand that you will never put anything on them that they were not able to bear, but would understand that the trials of their life is just like weight lifting. It starts out heavy. It starts out with a struggle, but the more they lift that the stronger they get. You have a purpose in everything you do. I thank you this morning, God, for the leaders of this prayer service. Bless them as they be encouraged to hold the family together. I believe that a church that prays together will succeed together, will overcome together. Even as a family that prays together is said to stay together. I remember that, God, and I speak for our children today, that our children would understand what we are trying to teach them who you are, for you have told Joshua, even in the midst of Jordan, when the water was backed up, to pick up stones and set up a memorial, that our children would know that the God we serve could do the impossible. Take them in places they've never been. Be with them and provide what they've never had. So God, keep us today as we teach our family to live for you, God. Not only that, but our upcoming Atlanta meeting, I ask you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God, to bless it, that it might be blessed in the name of Jesus. Not only that, divine resources give them to us. We know you got every resource. Do it in the name of Jesus. I declare that divine resources will reach out and touch every area of the family in the name of Jesus. I declare your glory this morning. The sick can say that I'm well. The seniors will be there. We give you praise today. In the name of Jesus, we love you, God. We praise you this day. We give you honor for praise is common for us because you've been good to us, God. Even in the last days of our life, you've been good to us and we give you glory. God, we give you praise for what you but we humble ourselves before you. We give you praise this day. That in this our family, move into the era that you would have in the go. Walking with the head up, facing every trial, facing every tribulation, but most of all, more than conquerors, as you have spoken to us, God, that we are more than a conqueror. And now Paul has let us know you. you will not leave us. Your love will be there. And no matter what we say, we are winners by the grace of God. I thank you for this opportunity to come to you this morning. And as you answered all our prayers, we already think it's done. Because you said it is done. It was still its own calorie. In the name of Jesus. And I don't think you rested from all your work. And God, all we got to do is exist in time. Because eternity says it's finished. Eternity says it's already done. And thank you now. In Jesus' name we pray. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. For what they do. Thank you this morning. We give you praise. And we end this prayer, God, with our praise and our worship. We love you today. For God, you let the Holy Spirit, as you spoke in the Word, it picks up what I'm trying to say. It knows what I'm trying to ask for. And it will help you. And it will explain to you what I'm trying to say. So we ask God 
that the Spirit is making us for everyone up today. There's no I need. There's no I need. There's no I need. And not only do we know it, it knows how to supply them. And not only the Spirit in our lives, that as we walk day by day, we will come stronger and united as one family, one, one church of God, our faith, family, the living and the only God. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, we just give God all the glory and all the honor and the praise. We thank God for uh, just the national corporate prayer this morning. We thank God for his word. We thank God for and want to thank um, ever so much uh, Elder Moses Anderson, Jr., South Florida District, for being our prayer leader this morning. We thank God for the operation of His Spirit this morning uh, during our national prayer call. There's no way that you can be on a call like this, like we have just been on now, and not tell me that the Holy Spirit is not moving and operating and directing and guiding our leaders. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So we just magnify the name of the Lord. Um, we want to just share briefly uh, before we close our call that uh, the National Prayer Team uh, is actually working right now on a project uh, to formulate a national uh, prayer line, a 24-hour prayer line for the Church of God by Faith and our friends and our family. And this effort is looking to uh, use the, the help and the services of us, the believers, the body of Christ. And so if you uh, are willing to lend your service, your time and yourself to uh, contributing your efforts to a national prayer line, a 24-hour prayer line, uh, I would like for you to uh, email us at volunteers, C-O-G-B-F, at yahoo.com. That's volunteers, C-O-G-B-F, all one word, at yahoo.com. Also, you can call 954 687 Five seven six six. That's nine five four six eight seven five seven six six. Also, email at volunteers c o g b s at yahoo.com. We give God all the glory and all the honor and the praise. We're a little over our time, but uh, we're in the spirit of God, and so we just magnify the name of the Lord. We thank God for each and every believer, each and every friend family, all of our leaders that have joined us as we have boldly gone before the throne of God with power and with might. And so we thank God for him bringing to pass what has been spoken because his word will not return unto him void. We want to encourage you to go forth, have a great day, be an instrument of God's grace as we reach out as ambassadors for Christ, <laughs> declaring the ministry of reconciliation to this world. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah. Have a great day in the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God.